oh my goodness i have not sat down and recorded an episode in two weeks it feels so good to be sitting down and doing something that I love. I'm sorry that I went on a hiatus. It's only been two weeks, but, you know, especially for me to just be starting out, two weeks is too much, okay? So I wish I could just sit and, like, actually have a conversation with y'all and be like, how y'all doing? What's up with y'all? What's new? Right? Like, that would be so dope. But for right now, I just have to lean on you guys responding back to me via social media. <laughs> um, honestly, y'all, I have not really been up to much. Um, this past weekend, I went to D.C. to do some school shopping. School started back this week. Thank the Lord. And other than that, I just been really like not doing nothing. <laughs> honestly um I feel like well I really wasn't motivated to sit down and record but outside of that the kids were home for two weeks they were in summer camp however <laughs> summer camp decided to end two weeks early well two it ended two weeks before school actually started so they were home for two weeks every day all day getting on my nerves so yeah so that's what I have been up to so today I was actually able to sit down and record the kids are not here I have a full house by myself child okay and I love that but other than that y'all I really have not been doing anything I started a workout plan because I really need to like lately I've just been doing like cardio for the longest, I've just been doing cardio because I really was trying to build my endurance. But I was like, you know what? I really need to start incorporating weights. I started a workout plan by Body by Danielle on Instagram. So that's been dope. The first day, I definitely was walking around like something was stuck up my ass <laughs> for two days. But um, we got past it. <laughs> but other than that, it's really been nothing. Um... So we could just go ahead and get into our first segment, which, of course, is sweet and sour. So I feel like when it comes down to my sweet, I will say, hmm, it has been me going to go look at my dream car, you guys. Y'all, it's definitely time for me to get a new car. I have been so tremendously blessed with the car that I have now. I have a 2011. I got it in 2012. And it's paid off. It's been paid off for some years now. But the time is coming to where it's time to get a new car. So I haven't, at first I wasn't in a rush to get a new car because I'm like, man, my car paid off. My car has never given me any major problems. But I feel like, you know, it's just, it's just time. Like it's an older car and it's just time for something new. So I went to go view my dream car, which I say dream car because the car is quite expensive. And at first, this car would have not even been in my mind to get. But for me to feel like and truly feel like that I can get it, I can do this, like I'm going to get this car. Like I went there, I sat in it, asked them questions and pray over the car and everything. And I know it's like, you know, it's a materialistic thing, but it's something that I need. You know, I need a car. I have kids. Like, I need a car. So, it that just really made my day. Honestly, that made my day to go sit in the car because it's just like, I literally be driving down the road in my car that I have now, but I be imagining that I'm in my future car. <laughs> Y'all, I be in there smiling and everything, like acting like the sunroof open. I'm feeling the breeze, everything. So, yep. Um, so that was definitely my sweet for this week. As far as my sour, I will say my sour has been, I've been truly in my head, y'all. Like, I have truly been in my head so much. I, like I said, I have not been doing much of anything, meaning I have not been creating content like I'm supposed to be creating content. And sometimes it sounds so weird, but it's like you can want something so much, but then it's like you're not moving your feet. And it makes you think, well, if you really want it, why are you not moving your feet? 
So that's where I've been at because it makes me question like how bad do you really want it if you're not doing anything to get it? And I have a problem with like it has to be absolutely necessary for me to um do something in order for me to do it. And that's not a good thing to like, that's not a good trait to have because it shouldn't get to the point where it absolutely is necessary for you to do it in order for you to do it. Like for example, even with me transitioning in my job for the longest, I was in the same position. It took for me to have a breakdown, like a literal breakdown at work for me to be able to apply, well, for me to push me to apply to a better position. And it should have not gotten to that point, but it got to that point because I was so unhappy. But it's like, instead of you just, you know, this first sign of unhappiness, you just move forward with it. I decided to wait until it got unbearable. So with that being said, I feel like when it comes down to creating content, being that this is not my end all be all, like this is not my only income, Sometimes I feel like I don't put it in the like I don't put it as I as a priority, even though it should be because Yvette, you know what you want, so it's like why are you not doing it? <laughs> so anyway, that was definitely my sour for the week, and I kind of been beating myself up about it because I'm just like, girl, like you're the problem. <laughs> it's you, you the problem, but. Yeah, I'm working through it, you guys. I'm I'm very, like, I'm not perfect, as y'all know. I don't never claim to be perfect. I have my days. I have it to where it's like I don't want to do anything. But it's like at the point that I'm in my life, I know what I want. So I can't just not do anything. It's either you want it or you don't want it. So which one do you want, honey child? So that's where I feel with that so that was my sweet and sour you guys and let's just get into the topic at hand shall we so we gonna talk about social media y'all i feel like these past couple of weeks on social media i just have been like seeing an array of crazy shit (laughs) and it just made me think like social media has really brainwashed us it has really I can't even form into the words of the effect, the negative effect that social media has had. I'm not saying that it's all negative by any means because I know it has some positivity to it, but I definitely feel like the negativity is very obvious. Um, So for example, as I've gotten older and kind of mature a little more, my my taste and content creators have definitely changed. Influencers, whatever you want to call it. So I feel like a lot of like some people that I used to watch on YouTube, it kind of makes me feel like I don't know, y'all, it's kind of hard to say because As y'all know, I'm an up and coming content creator, but I feel like a lot of the influencers and content creators that are out there is putting this persona out into the world that is really kind of brainwashing a lot of people. You know, they're called influencers, even though a lot of them don't want to even be called influencers because they're like influencer, like it just has a bad name around it, but that's what they are. They're influencing other people to do certain things. And I feel like we have gotten to the point in life where influencers feel like they have to have a certain aesthetic, has to do certain things, soft life, luxury life. What other life is there out there? Like, it's just a lot. Black girl luxury, all of these different things. And by any means, am I not, I'm not saying at all that those things are bad because it's not like they are promoting something that is bad. However, I feel like those things are not realistic for majority of the people. And being that they they are influencers and is on social media, it kind of makes you look at it like, what am I doing wrong? Like, why can't I be living like that? And it's like, I feel like sometimes we tend to forget that the videos that we see on social media or on YouTube or those little clips, those reels, those are what 
30 seconds, 90 seconds, or when it comes to YouTube, however many, many, many minutes long, we're not seeing everyone's life like you're not seeing every aspect of their life like even down to my videos i have people that come on my videos and they'll say oh i feel like you love one twin more than the other on a 15 minute video how did you get that when they're with me every day like how you know so it's like the full picture is not being shown on what's being shown to us i feel like we forget sometimes that these are things that are edited down is giving a certain image that you want people to perceive it as, which that just comes with creating content. That comes with being an influencer. That comes with that. You know, everyone is, they're not going to get the full picture and they're not supposed to. However, I feel like we have gotten into the day and age to where influencers you know, they feel like that things have to be a certain aesthetic. You have to do things a certain type of way. You have to look a certain type of way. You have to have that clean look. You, you at a certain age, you shouldn't be wearing a lot of color. You shouldn't be wearing certain nails. You shouldn't be wearing certain hairstyles. And I'm going to be honest, when I, as I, like, after I had the twins, I was like, okay, it's really time for me to grow up and stop being all into this color. As you can see, look around me like color like this I mean you can't really see my full wall but if y'all have seen my wall before if you're listening I'm sorry but visually if you've seen my motivational wall before you know it's very colorful and I will say sometimes when I get online and I see people um offices that look so you know black white beiges I'm like oh that looks nice but I feel like we have like it's everyone is victim to it everyone is victim to being brainwashed on social media because i feel like you start looking at what you like and feel like it's something wrong with that like for example a lot of the people that you see on social media that have a big following they all have this certain type of look so it's like when you have someone that is the opposite of that or you're not interested in that it makes you feel like that something is wrong with what you're what you're doing and you should be doing what everybody else is doing because that's getting them to where you want to be at. One person that I feel like I love how she just is herself is Tabitha Brown. I love how she wears color. I love how you don't see her in heels. She Even when she going to events, you see her in sneakers and she still look good. You know, I love how she is not changing for anyone. She has even said that, like, she has a food, she has a... Um, a show on Food Network and how they wanted to change her and for her to be a certain type of way, and she refused. And I feel like in in today's society, that is so important to just stand on you, stand on your true self, because just going with the crowd, going with what you feel like is an eye catcher for everybody because that's what everyone is doing and you're not authentically being yourself you're not doing anything but harming your like your mental because eventually it's going to get to a point where you can't keep keeping up with being fake like it's easy to be real it's easy to be yourself what you have to keep up with is when you're not being real when you're not being yourself and like sometimes when I'm even watching videos and stuff like that and I see influencers saying, oh, like you can go get a hotel and do night like self-care routines. And I'm like, well, what's wrong with just doing it in a regular old bathroom that many people have, you know? And don't get me wrong, y'all. Like I was, I felt the exact same way before. Like when I used to live in my apartment, I didn't feel like my apartment was aesthetically pleasing. So I wouldn't create a lot of videos in there. So it's like, I used to be of that same mindset. And now that I'm on the other side of it, I'm like, why are we brainwashed to feel that way? Why are we brainwashed to feel that majority, what the life that majority of us is living is wrong? Because honestly, even though we see these things on social media, y'all, most of the time when you walk out your door, you don't see that stuff. Or when you are just socializing with the people around you, you don't see those things. So it's like you're trying to strive for something that's not necessarily. I'm not even going to say realistic because I can't even say realistic. I'm going to just say it. it's not realistic. It's not realistic. Like 
it's not realistic. So people that I used to really love watching on social media, like YouTube and stuff like that, I once I started getting more in tune with myself, it made me not even want to, not say I don't like them, because I mean, if that's them, do you. But it comes to a point where it's like, you start to see through them. Like you start to see that they are trying to keep up with the facade of looking a certain way, being a certain way, having, you know, certain things when it's not realistic. And now I feel like that I tend to lean more towards the people or content creators that just is are real. They're themselves you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't care about being themselves. They don't care all about having a certain aesthetic. And I'm not saying that everyone that has that is fake. I'm not saying that by any means because there's certain people out there that that's really how they live. But I feel like when you are, like, I feel like it influences other people to try to keep up with that and feel like that's how it's supposed to be. And that's not, it's not realistic, you know? And I hope I'm making sense when I say this because it's like I was even listening to somebody vlog. She was just doing like a girl chit chat and she was even saying how like she has an aesthetic about her, like very, you know, news, beiges, luxury, like, you know, going to buy bags, doing certain things. You know, she has those things about herself, but it doesn't seem like it's forced. It seemed like it's just her. She also has a personality. Like she, even though she has those things about her, it doesn't seem like that she's trying to be anything but herself. And I feel like that the problem comes in when you have people out here trying to be everything but themselves. And I feel like social media has brainwashed us to be everything but ourselves. It's a couple of videos that I have been watching on YouTube and one of them was um it was like interviews this therapist was doing interviews with different rappers and stuff like that and instead of just asking them certain things like you know surface level stuff they were having like real deep conversations and those are things that I have been gravitating to more because it just has so much more meaning to it y'all like so like that surface level stuff it's just so like overrated sad to say it's very overrated and I just feel like like even now I just feel like we are at a point in our lives where you like suicide is so high now because it's like people are looking at them their lives and feel like something is wrong like recently someone committed suicide online and it was, like, all over the blogs and stuff like that. And I went to the girl page. Like, she a motivational speaker. Her body is banging. She's beautiful. And it makes you start to think, like, damn. Like, what can we believe that's on social media? Because just going to go look at her page, you would think that she's such a positive person. So positive, so just in the right headspace, right in internally, and you would not think that she would be going through something like that to the point where she feel like it's unbearable and she could not live on this earth anymore. So that's why I feel like it's important to not just look at what somebody is projecting on social media and feel like that's the end all be all. Because how many times do we have things that come out about celebrities or famous people that we like, oh my goodness, like, they doing that? Like, they feel that way? They said that? They did that? You know what I'm saying? And we look at it as, we just looking at it what we see on social media, what we see when we see them on interviews, on TV, on movies, on con you know, in concerts, and that stuff is not real. It's not real by any means. It's just not real. And it's like, I just feel like, we are just all, I'm not even going to say we are just all. I just feel like a big group of us is just doomed. And honestly, it's like, like my son, he keeps asking, can he have a Snapchat and a TikTok and stuff like that? And I don't want him to have those things because I know the effect that social media can have on your mind. 
something that you're consuming every day, I know that the, the effect that it can have on you. And I don't want him to go down that rabbit hole because it is a rabbit hole. Like y'all, mm when I post my videos or when I post anything saying how I feel, I lo one of the one a feedback that I've always gotten is that I love how you're just authentic, how you're just yourself, how you just keep it real regardless of what somebody might feel. Like even when I uploaded my video about the twins finding out I was having twins, I wasn't up there like, y'all, I'm so happy. <laughs> God bless me twice. <laughs> okay, double blessing. No, <laughs> honey. I ain't want to be pregnant with twins. Like I did not want to be pregnant with twins and I was not about to get up there. Like I wanted to be pregnant with twins when I know I ain't want to be pregnant with twins, but it's like, it just, I don't know. Like it makes me feel like what is so hard about being authentic? What is so hard about being real? What is so hard about just being yourself? What is so hard about that? I just, I truly don't understand what's so hard about it because I feel like when you are real and when you authentic when you're authentic I feel like you attract the people to you that needs to be there but when you're online and being just fake and just making it seem like that life is good life is great everything is great uh I got all this money all like I got this that and the third and it's not really that then you attract people to you that makes you feel like that you have to keep up with that. And it's just like a rabbit hole. And really when you at home and you might not even be happy, you know, you might not, you need somebody that will understand how you feeling somebody to talk to, but yet you have to have this persona that you keep up with. So you can't release truly how you feel. I'm not sitting here saying that you should put all of your business out on front street and let everybody know what's going on in your life No, like you should have some privacy about it but I feel like if you're trying to keep up with certain things that you don't necessarily even like you're not doing anything but making yourself unhappy like let me tell y'all for example you know, on social media, it's a big thing. They want to talk about cancers and how cancers are so emotional and stuff like that. And I was that person like, I'm not emotional. I'm not emotional. I don't want to be like, I'm not no crybaby. I only cry about what people that matter to me. Anybody else, forget them. I don't care. Like, I wanted to go to bat for cancers when in reality... We are, well, I, personally, me, I am emotional. But it's like I let what people were saying on social media make it seem like that it's a bad thing when, and that made me feel like that I wanted to not be a cancer. And even though this sounds so stupid because it's like just horoscopes, but that is an example of how I wanted to change myself because of what other people were saying. And I wanted to live up to what other people thought was a cool horoscope or a cool way of being or I didn't want to be emotional or I didn't want to have such a big heart and care about other people I wanted to have a hard heart a heart of, of ice you know like that's something that people was praising on social media not having feelings and it's like what's wrong with having feelings what's wrong with actually caring like what's wrong with that and now I embrace that shit like I'm gonna embrace it like yeah I'm a cancer yeah I'm emotional yeah I care I care I'm very intuitive I know when something not right you're not just gonna sit here and tell me one thing and then show me another and I feel like that oh what well, they said this that and the third like no you know what I'm saying so it's like it took for me to really like love myself and embrace how I was to just not care about what was going on on social media. But even that one little thing about horoscopes, that one little thing, you see how it made me feel. So it's like, just imagine how millions of people around the world is feeling when they see people living these certain type of lifestyles and they feel like that's what it's supposed to be as. And I, Y'all, I promise I'm not saying that it's anything wrong with living that type of lifestyle because if that is something that you truly love and you truly want to do with your life, then do it. But what I don't like is when people try to put on a persona, like they try to put on a facade, like this is how life is supposed to 
be and this is the life they're living when that's not it there's really um it's really amazing when somebody can see the like the your genuine self so i feel like that us as a union need to just embrace our genuine selves embrace the journey embrace how you went from one place to another instead of feeling like that you're supposed to just have microwave reactions or have microwave results when that's not how it's supposed to be. And all of these things are things that I have been victim to. So that's why I'm speaking from a place of I can relate. And now that I'm looking at stuff like, man, this social media stuff is so fake. Like who is really sitting here living like that? Like who like every day where they don't have no problems and all of these other things. And it's like even when it come down to spirituality on social media, you have pages that want to talk about how, you know, finding yourself is so good and you'll be happy and you'll be this, that and the third. And like everything will be so bliss. And now that I'm going through it, I'm like, no, it's not. It's very ghetto. It's very ghetto. Okay, It's, it's very depressing at times it's very crying yourself to sleep and waking up crying it's very doing some deep work within yourself and realizing that you got some work to do that's what it very much is maybe the other side of it is very blissful but going through it is not so I just wish that we could have a I wish everyone on social media could just be their authentic selves, y'all. That's what I wish. I just wish everybody could be them, their authentic selves and not try to create a persona, not try to put on an aesthetic that they truly is struggling to keep up with. Just be yourself. That's it. Just be yourself. Because seeing how these people are like, you know, committing suicide and at home depressed and going through so much. And then they come on social media and make it seem like that life's great. Life's grand. And that's not it. You know, I feel like that that's why when it comes down to people, you know, committing suicide and going through a lot of mental health things, that's why like they feel like that they're supposed they feel like something is wrong with them. They feel like that this is not how they're supposed to feel because they see they get on social media and it's like, oh like everybody's happy like why is my life so messed up when everybody is happy and I know it's somebody that could be like well just get off social media but honestly the world that we live in especially I mean it is some people that don't care about social media don't have to be on social media but like somebody for myself that I'm an expiring content creator I can't just get off of social media so I had to change the people that I was listening to on social media or engaging with on social media or watching on social media like I don't even care to click on certain people videos anymore or go to certain people pages anymore or watch their stories anymore because it's just like even though they trying to put on this persona like I you could just see all of through all of that sometimes so yeah I really just wanted to have a conversation about social media because I feel like it's not talked about enough to where, you know, I feel like it's just a normal now to where people feel like they're supposed to have this soft life. Like, I don't want to do anything. I just want to get up and just not do anything. And my life is supposed to be so soft. I don't want to work for anything or black girl luxury. I just want to be able to walk into the store, buy Chanel or just be able to go just whatever, whatever you consider luxury. Like, but the thing is, it's like luxury can be anything that you consider luxury. Me going to take a bath with bubbles could be considered luxury but it's like social media makes you feel like that oh it's supposed to be me going to chanel and then going to balenciaga and then i'm going to go hop in my porsche and then i might go ride up to Saks and go to neiman marcus and no <laughs> like I feel like we feel like we're doing good to people y'all but we really brainwashing people because we it, it, it makes it seem like that people are doing something wrong when majority of lives are not lived like that it's not like that okay so 
I just want to encourage everybody out there to just be mindful what you post. Like, just be mindful what you post and what you put out there and ask yourself, am I really being my true self? Like, am I being my true self or am I putting on a facade to make it seem like my life is a certain type of way that it's not? And I'm not saying that you got to be out here telling your business because I'm not saying that at all. But just be mindful of what you're putting out there because it's an influence on other people. And I feel like with with the suicide rate being so high of what it is now, I feel like us as a collective, we could definitely make a change if people just start being real. Just be real. Like, stop just trying to do what you see everybody else doing. Be your real self. And then we will have a variety of different people that we love. And, like, we just love somebody for their true self. So, yeah. That's what I wanted to talk about as far as social media, you guys. Let me see. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. All right, you guys. So, now to the book that I read this week that kind of I mean it really don't resonate with this episode but I just I read it so I felt like that it would be beneficial to somebody because it was beneficial to me so it is actually the the secret the secret the power which I'm not sure if y'all heard of the book called this I mean the movie called the secret but yeah so it's by Rhonda Byrne the secret the power and it says whatever you want in your life you want it because you love it Take a moment and think about it. You don't want things you don't love, do you? Every person only wants what they love. Nobody wants what they don't love. When you think or talk about the things you want and love, such as I love those shoes, they're beautiful, your thoughts are positive and those positive thoughts will come back to you as the things you love, beautiful shoes. When you think or talk about the things you don't want and don't love, such as look at the price of those shoes, that's highway rivalry, your thoughts are negative. And those negative thoughts will come back to you as the things you don't love, things that are too expensive for you. Most people think and talk about what they don't love more than they think and talk about what they love. They give out more negativity than love. And in doing so, they are inadvertently depriving themselves of all the good things in life. It's impossible to have a great life without love. People who have great lives think and talk about what they love more than what they don't love. And people who are struggling think and talk about what they don't love more than what they do love. And the reason why that resonated with me so much, y'all, is because I really been trying to change the way that I speak out my mouth. And for the longest, I felt like that it was almost impossible to change. And I felt like that it was always going to be a constant work and battle to change what comes out my mouth. However, now it's to the point if I have a conversation, certain things won't even I won't be able to speak. It might it might come to a point where I'm about to say it, but immediately before I can even get the words out of my mouth, I immediately stop myself because instead of me focusing on lack or things that I don't love or things that I don't like. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to focus on things that I want. I'm trying to focus on abundance. I'm trying to focus on things I want in my life. You know, there's no point in focusing on what you don't want. So it's like even when I see something going back to my suite, which is me sitting in my car, even though last year I probably would have been like, I would never be able to afford that car. I'm not going to be able to. I'm, what? That car? No. Never. Honda me. Something like that. But now I'm like, Oh, no, baby. That's my car. I'm getting that car. That's mine. Me. All day. Ain't no plan B. That's it. Plan A. That's it. Right there. (laughs) So hopefully that resonated with somebody else. I hope it did. Okay? Remember, you guys, you could do, be, or have anything that you want out of life and that's something that I have to tell myself every day I tell myself that every morning when I wake up every night when I go to sleep I can be do or have anything that I want out of life as long as I put my mind to it so with that being said y'all that's it for this episode I love you guys I will see you next Friday and as always remember I'm still a mother bye (laughs) 